Hello. I am here. I think I need to move this over because I moved it over for DMV and I forgot to move it. I think that helps. Hi, yes, now we're back. I'm a little further back today though because um, I tried to set this up in a, <laughs> a good enough way. I feel like, I, wow, I feel like I'm really, really loud. I feel like I'm screaming. And pull, let's pull that down. Actually, I can probably move this back a little bit. Assuming. I think that might have helped a little. Yes, I think it I think I can put it at the normal thing. I think my mic just needs to be a little further from my mouth. Um, but hi, today is a different type of day because I'm gonna be unboxing something. So I um, have been waiting to finally be able to mention the various boxes that have just been sitting in my room for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been sitting because I had planned to do an unboxing stream for a while now, I think. Like, I feel like I even had mentioned, like, end of May, like, oh, I might be doing an unboxing stream. Like, I'll let you guys know. Um, <laughs> but a lot had happened in between. So the unboxing, I kept not being able to make a date because I didn't know when the announcements were going to go out. And then... You know, some stuff made it a little harder to do announcements because of um, some tweets that went out, which made no sense to have ever been tweeted in the first place. But I digress. Um, so that made it a lot harder to figure out what to do. So I had to wait until everybody was kind of like given the go ahead to be the post that we got um, all these things. So I have. A bunch of stuff from Elgato that I'll be opening. Um, it's it's kind of wild to think that I have more like free stuff <laughs> that I can now use with my setup because anybody who's been here knows that I got a lot of um, stuff to help with my setup. What was it last year? I think it, I think it was last year. If it wasn't last year, it was the year before um, because I want a giveaway. And that already gave me like a bunch of things to help me out. I think there was only, there was one thing though in the giveaway that I ended up not using, which to be honest, I need to try to give away, even though sometimes I debate whether or not to give it away for the, for the pure fact that I feel like mine didn't work right. Um, but I also don't know if maybe I just didn't know what I was doing. It's the boom arm. Um, because my boom arm, I felt like I was, I should have been able to get it to like stay in place better, like, so I could actually use it properly. And after a while I gave up, I just was like, this is just, it's just not working for me. So, but I do technically have a different boom arm this time, which I'm very excited to try out. I just have to figure out where I'm going to put it. It's the type where technically it goes straight, well, not straight, but it folds out closer to the table and I feel like with the way my table is it might work but also depending on how I can get this thing I'm gonna base I'm gonna end up having to reconfigure like everything on my desk and though I'm ex I'm very excited I'm very excited to like have everything already set up I'm not excited to set it up if that makes sense I am I'm very much not excited to set it up um but yeah, I'm chilling here for a minute so I can wait and make sure that nobody pops in. Because I don't, I honestly don't know how long this stream's gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be a really short stream. Like, I don't know if it's gonna be like an hour. <laughs> so, like, I wanna at least allow, like, somebody to get in here if they would like, if they would choose. I'm not gonna just sit here and wait forever, though. So, it's not like I'm gonna just be sitting here. Um, the whole time. But I figured I should just give it a minute. Make sure I have everything up here. Uh, did I post on all my on my socials? I, I think I posted. On my socials. I think I did. I think I did it. 
I also like don't trust Twitter anymore because the way in which Twitter constantly keeps like saying that I have new followers and saying that I don't and saying that I lost followers and saying that I didn't saying that like it's I don't even know how many people technically follow me I don't know what's the accurate number because it's constantly switching and then it's like if I go to my actual profile is one number but then if I go to like the little some I'm mobile if I go to like the little window that pops out before you go to your full profile it says a different number it's just weird it's just real weird. But yeah, but I'm about to start trying. And my, my brother sent me the OLED switch because he knows that I wanted it. But he sent me it from the site, I don't know. And it's like, oh, it's on sale or whatever. And then when I looked on Best Buy or whatever, like Best Buy always tells you like specifically if the thing that you were trying to grab is on sale, like it tells you how many dollars you're saving. It doesn't have that and i'm convinced that the other site if that's the case the other site is literally selling it on sale for like three dollars less than normal retail price and i'm like how 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 is that a sale that is not a sale in the slightest it is it is not a sale it is three dollars off so would like to get the OLED. I, mean, I don't feel like spending $350, really $400 after taxes, but whatever. I'm going to get started with it. Oh, I know where I forgot to post. I forgot to post it. Yeah. Like, I, there's always some place I forget. forget to post it in like at least one place all right there we go now it's posted someplace um but yeah i think we are going to just get started into the unboxing plus i want to start opening things so we're gonna start doing that you're gonna see me get out these ones first part of me is like I want to save some of the fun stuff I want to open later um for later <laughs> but first thing let me grab my scissors one of my scissors first thing that I got is cam link forte which I forget what it is stream and record within your favorite tool some, it's 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 something with 4k it's oh it's with the camera oh yeah i forgot so i got this so that if i finally get like a actual good camera which i would like to get soon um i would have this. so basically we were able to like pick what things we would like to grab because it was well actually let me actually say what happened so me being part of brown girl gamer code thank you so much to brown girl gamer code um bggc um, and them having a, not partnership, but a slight relationship with Elgato due to a couple of contests that they've done. Um, we were able to, the stream team was able to pick out a few different items from Elgato's like store and whatnot. And we were able to get those as being part of BGGC as a gift. So that is what is going on. So from that, we were able to kind of pick and choose about up to three kind of things from each selection. We could choose as many or as, well, not as many, but up to three or less or none from each of the sections. So for this one, I got the cam link because part of me was like, hmm, I do want to get a good camera eventually. So I was like, I might as well grab this while I can <laughs> so that when I when I do get a good one if I want to like use it for streaming or whatever it is 
I can then get like 4K type stuff. So, I also am happy about this because it seems like hopefully this won't take up a ton of space. I'm gonna start needing to like figure out a system for how to, um, oh yeah, it's not big at all. This is how tiny it is. It's literally like just a chunky flash drive, which is fantastic. Is there like a little thing in here? I, I feel like I'm such a millennial though, because like, I don't throw away my boxes. At least like, I don't throw away my technology boxes, but I think that makes me more millennial. Despite the fact that I'm like, I'm like that cusp millennial. I'm the young millennial or whatever it is. But I like to keep them because sometimes there's really important information on the box. <laughs> there's important info on the boxes of these things that I get. And I've honestly gone through my various boxes and looked for the info. <laughs> like I've looked for stuff. But this is the first and this is my cam link. Nice and tiny and little. I like that. I like that it's small. I need to like figure, like I technically have a setup for like my wires and things like that, but I feel I'm going to have to reconfigure it again because <laughs> I now have so much more technology than I thought that I would have or that I had when I originally, originally set everything up. Even just from like December, I still have so many boards. So this one is now closed. That one has been opened. We have one thing open. Next thing that I have is I have the key light mini, which I'm honestly excited about because I feel like I have light, yeah, but sometimes I feel like my light isn't all that good. So I'm hoping that maybe this will help with my lighting a little bit, especially because then if I don't want to have like my regular lights on, then I could have this and maybe it'll light me up better for stream and I could just leave my regular lights for like my stuff. Um, so definitely going to have to play around with the lighting. So, okay, and it charges as battery. Nice. Okay, let's get this over. I had to check my phone really quick. Let's see. I can get it open. Oh, what's oh, the old book in here? inside of the box or is it just the box? This. Ah, there we go. I was like, I feel something else. All right, so we got the cord, another little booklet. Oh, what is, there's a whole quick start. Okay, so this is to charge. Oh, they don't even give i hate now that like these um tech brands don't give you the wall chargers anymore <laughs> like i know that technically like we have a gazillion of the wall chargers or like the wall um the part that goes in the wall but that doesn't make it any less annoying that they don't like give you it oh this is weird it's a USB-C, but it's like on a a little, it's like a 90 degree. Oh, 
Okay, so now power jog wheel and then to reset it. Okay. Oh, and then on the back it has the battery and Wi-Fi status. And okay, and then that's where the mount is at the bottom. Got it. Okay. I definitely am gonna have to sit and like play with this later. Especially because I think they have a mount. Let me see. First, let me put this away because I don't want to. <laughs> like, I honestly do not want to lose these things. Like, I'm going to need to start to figure out how to, like, still feel like I have stuff in case I, like, need to look, it in look into it without keeping every single thing. You know? So let's actually start doing some of the mounts because I want to, like... what's in here this is honestly i think was the thing i was probably most excited for well not most but one of the things i was pretty excited for. um the master mount or whatever multi-mount essentials and stuff i'm hoping that it has like the phone stuff in it <laughs> Like the, the um, one that has the phone grip, because when I was choosing it, part of, part of me like was not sure. Like I wasn't positive if it included it, like trying to figure out what was in this box was kind of rough. Because <laughs> like, I didn't know if I was getting this box and like a couple extras or if like I needed to get like everything else instead that I wanted, like the actual individual pieces. Like I genuinely did not know. I, I still am not sure. So this one I'm kind of excited about because it's, it's kind of a, a slight mystery of what exactly will be in here because. Okay, clips, yep, okay, so it's, what I feared, well not feared, but I was hoping it included the, I was hoping it would have included the phone thing. So it's not going to, hopefully, I think I should have a phone. I should have a phone mount or something that I can use. But here is the master mount. So that I can use it for various things. Oh, this thing is solid though. This is like really sturdy. This thing feels like it is not going anywhere. Like anywhere at all. And honestly, I really do like how sturdy this part is because I feel like sometimes when I get things that have this whole like the desk clamp or whatever. I genuinely don't like the way that this part is. I feel like they usually feel really flimsy or really like not very sturdy. And on top of it, it this whole section normally to me feels like it's going to like rip up my desk or like leave a lot of marks. And genuinely, this does not feel like that. Like it's not hard. It feels like it's actually going to grip because trying to get it so I can feel it. There's like actual grip, like a slight cushion in here to protect your desk or your table. That's really nice. I actually really like that. I'm really happy they put that in there. 
I'm just gonna put it back up so that it's not just wiggling all over the place. I have a couple more of the mount stuff. Now I wish I got the mini mount. I don't think I got the mini mount. I wish I did. Okay, and then these are the clips. Or if I need them. Put them back inside. I need to make, I need to figure out a place to store these. So I don't lose the clips. Because that, that will be scary if I lose it. That'll be really scary. Figure out where I should store it, like where I should put it for the time being, so that I don't leave it. I guess I'll put it in here for now. I'll put them into the thing. Cause I'm not getting rid of the, the box yet. I'm just gonna sit the box in like a place so that I. I will sit this here for the time being. I'll probably move it. And this bad boy here is the heavy base. But we're gonna do the heavy base after the flex art. The flex arm is very light and I don't want the heavy base to be on top of it. So, add the flex arm first. Oof. I have forgotten to like refresh my laptop. For a second, I thought things weren't working. on first. This one basically the tape already came. This one I don't need to use the silver for it. I feel like this I'll definitely use. Oh and these are all of the little ones. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this is how it came in the box. What it looks like. So push this down so that it's not like in the camera. It ugh, would connect, I think, to all of this. But I think you have to clip it. Like how does that work? 
it just was it's just tight yeah <laughs> i was like wait how do i get it to open okay, open it and then i think if like i want to shove it onto this right I then could technically, in theory, I should be able to do that. In theory, I think. Uh, did I do it the wrong way again? I always do things. Maybe it's not like that. You close it back up. Maybe I'm doing it. I'm just like, where else would it go? It's for this. I have to look at pictures of things. Because this one, I don't think, comes with anything on it. It's just kind of a bunch of little pieces. Figure it out. <laughs> Got it. I'll figure it out later. Plus, it seems to me more like this is the type of stuff that, like, I figure out as I need it. And as I do my setup, and then, like, once I have my setup, either I won't touch it anymore, or I will only need to touch it for these specific things. That I need to do, you know? So that's what I'm assuming. Oh wait. Wait, I think I get it. I think I get it now. Hold on. I think I get it. First let me pull it. I think I see what I'm supposed to do. So I think this can loosen, right? And then I can take this off, this thing, which is that thing, and it has a little ball or whatever. And then if I take the flex arm, then I can put this one with the ball in it, right? And slap, yeah, that's what it is and slap it in place and then tighten it in if I can remember what direction it tightens in. Yes, that's what it is. And now we have the flex on. That makes sense. Okay, so then if let's say I wanted to do it and I needed to do it again, or whatever technically I could do it this way if I needed to okay that's cool that will that actually will be really useful when I like really think about it especially oh especially and this is why I think I originally even wanted it to begin with is this will be really helpful when if I want to do like any other type of crafting stream or art stream where I need you to see my desk. Like I need you to look down at my desk because I can still have my webcam, right? I can still have my webcam where you see me, but then for like streams like this, for example, I don't have to, have, I don't have to sit back so far because I can just, you know, oh wait, I should look at that. I can just, Make sure you guys can see my hands. And I can just sit at my desk normally. That'll be nice. Okay. 
very cool. I like this. And the good thing is that technically I should have a mount. This thing seems like the very universal one. So I should have, I should hopefully, hopefully have like a phone mount that can fit on this or whatever that can go onto this thing. That little part, I should be able to find, have one already. Um, I'll just stand you up for now, lean you up against my desk. We're gonna close this one up because this is now good. I know what this is. We have opened her. Now for the heavy base. I would lift this up, <laughs> but the heavy base is heavy. Um, this is just so that if I wanted to like, ugh, if I wanted to do a stream or like, take the video and maybe not have it connected to my desk or whatever, I could put this on the floor and it would be sturdy. So that's what this is. I still want to open it though. I want to see what the heck is going on. It's just heavy. <laughs> Hence it being the heavy, the heavy base. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of cardboard. Hey, we've got some instructions and whatnot. Do not over tighten. Okay. Ensure that the product is stable and the load is not too heavy. Special caution is advised when using the flex arm kit. Okay. <laughs> it says on the box. Let me see if I can lift it up at least a little bit for you guys. It literally says, warning, this base is built like a tank, handled with caution. Like, <laughs> what it literally says. <laughs> like, and it really does feel like it's built like a tank. That's the, that's the thing. It, it truly is built like a tank. I, I remember when I first, first got it and I lifted it up. Oh God, it was ridiculous. Show you a little better here now. <laughs> this is warning. It's like a tank. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's get this one open. But this is going to probably be so, like, useful when I want it mounted on the floor. Like, when I need it to be standing up. This is definitely one I do not want to fall on my foot. If this thing falls on your toe, you might as well just accept that God has your toe now. It's, it's no longer your toe. It is part of the earth. This thing is like a full blown weight, like an actual weight, almost. <laughs> like that's how this feels. So. We're just gonna, we're, I'm not even gonna open this up. I'm just gonna put this thing back into the warning box for now. Um, will it go into the big box? Probably not, cause that's just a lot of space. But just for now, I'm going to do that because it's, this thing is big. You know what, I'm gonna still open the plastic. I'm gonna still look at it, look inside at it. I would sit, but this is one I can't sit and do. I have to be standing in order to handle it it is just a little too heavy for me to be sitting oh this feels nice oh 
middle. This feels really nice. So the bottom has that like anti-slip feel again. The same type of non-slip type material as the um as this on the inside where it's supposed to be connected to the desk. It has that. Kudos uh, though, honestly, to Elgato for doing that because like I was saying, so many of these types of like products that I get, especially that are for your desk, it's like they just want you to have your desk ripped up all the time. You just have to accept that that thing is just gonna be housed in that specific section and you're never gonna pick it up because it always looks like crap afterwards. Um, okay, but this is cool. I have zero clue where this is going to be housed though. Like, I don't know where I'm going to keep this because this thing is literally like, I'm training to be an Olympic athlete. It's so, it's so heavy. It is so freaking heavy. Um, like I know I ordered a heavy base, but goodness, it's like, it's so heavy. So I have to figure out where this is going to stay. It needs to like, I almost, I don't want to say this, but I almost feel like it might need to stay in the box just so that one, I can know what the heck it is. And two, if like my nephew comes by or something, he doesn't try to play with this big gigantic disc and kill himself. Um, like I may need to just keep it in the box as a precaution for me and anybody that comes in my room, just because it literally says warning, it's built like a tank, I might have to keep it in there. Um, so I will figure this out. Honestly, I have no clue where I'm going to put most of this stuff when I'm finished doing this unboxing, like the way I have zero food, actually, I'm going to put it in sideways so that it doesn't like slide out the box. Or one of the open sides, like outside the plastic. Oh, okay. Put this back in here. The rest I should be able to sit down and open like before. This one was just unbelievably heavy. <laughs> like, just so incredibly heavy. And the thing that's so funny is that it's incredibly heavy for me and I just know that there's there's somebody out there. There's always, there's somebody who probably has bought the heavy base from the multi-mount system from Elgato. And there's somebody out there who's gotten it and it's watching me and they're like, it's not that heavy, you just feel weak. You just need to go to the gym. Yeah, you, you know what, maybe I do. But you know what? It's heavy for me. So it is very heavy. I'm trying to get this to actually close properly. Oh. There we go. I don't think I'm going to put it into the full box just because that's just so much work. But I am going to put it back in my the other thing I'm excited about. So, next thing that I do have, wait, I have a lot of cords next to me. Please go away cords, please. Okay, next thing I have, which I'm quite excited about, of course I make it flip, <laughs> is I have the, uh, um, the wave mic arm. And I sat and debated with myself about which arm to get for like 20 minutes when I had to pick because I was like oh I could get the regular standard one but I remember that the last giveaway I thankfully was blessed to have one I got a boom arm and that did not work for me one because I technically live in an attic as you can see from the slanted ceilings um and my side also has to slant as well on the side that you can't see. And so the boom arm was a bit hard to use because it had the slant. So it kind of always had to still be down. But the other flip of that coin of what made that boom arm hard for me is I think I had a slightly defective one or if it wasn't defective, I just didn't know how to properly set it up. So 
I never could actually get it to stay in the position that I needed it to stay in. No matter how many like tutorials I looked up, no matter how many times I fixed it, it never would actually like stay how I needed it to be. So for me, that boom arm that went up like this didn't really help me because it would always go back up or it wouldn't stay down and things like that. Hi Katana! How are you doing? You're the first one in today. <laughs> I hope that you're doing okay. I mean, I would tell you happy 4th of July, but like I like I think I said in my tweet, I'm not feeling very patriotic today. So, um, it's just another day for me. Um, uh-huh. Yes, you're the first one. I've been opening up things. I will show you what I have opened. Let me actually ugh, drink some water first. Yeah, be white man's day. Yes, that is honestly the best way to say it. Happy white man's day. <laughs> Let me move all this cardboard because I just opened up the heavy base of the multi mount essentials kit from Elgato. And unfortunately for you, that thing is heavy, so I'm not picking it back up. But it's literally just a disc that is very heavy. So that when I use this, if I don't want to use the thing that goes on the desk, I can unscrew this bad boy and I can put it on the floor in the heavy mount. So that is what the heavy mount is. So I have this one. I also have the flex arms, which are a bunch of other arms that I can swap out for this little one. And I can like make them come out and make them come out and go in and all that stuff. I'll show you in a minute. But um. Yeah, so this is one of them. This is the, the like the base of the multi-mount thing. Which first of all, I was able to do this because I, me and the rest of the stream team from BGGC, we were all gifted um, lots of stuff from Elgato because Elgato wanted to gift to BGGC some things. So as the stream team, we were each able to kind of pick and choose a few things from each category that Elgato had. We could either choose from every category or we didn't need to choose from every category. Um, but like max of like three items per section, pretty much. And surprisingly, we got every single thing I think that we asked for. So that was really, really cool. So this is the multi-mount system, the base. Um, Deshaun, look at y'all all coming in at four o'clock. I love y'all for coming in now. Uh -huh. How are you doing? <laughs> And not the anthem. So we got this and then I have it in the box still just because there's so many. So then I got the flex arm, which also don't mind that my color just changed. My lamp that I got from Amazon a year ago has been very testy lately. It keeps changing and turning off. Um, just doing some work and you're chilling. Nice. So I have all of these different arms that I can now use. And I can kind of use them all together if I want, if it's sturdy enough, because of course it's all based off how sturdy I can make it. But I feel like this is gonna be really nice, especially if like I do art streams or any type of other creative stream where maybe I want you guys to see my desk. Like you, I want you guys to see me working. Cause then I can one, have my webcam looking at me. And then I can have like another webcam set up on this bad boy pointing down. And then you guys can still also see me do work. So that was what I was kind of thinking of with this. Um, so very excited about these. And like I said, I also have the heavy mount so that if I want to put it on the floor or stand it on the floor, I can stand it on the floor and it's really sturdy. So I have this. I also got, I'm just showing the things I've opened so far. Um, I got the cam link, this bad boy. Um, and this is so, and it also comes with the cord. And the cam link, from what I know, it's like so that if you have a like camera camera, like a real camera, you can plug this bad boy in to your camera and then plug, well, plug this into your camera and then plug this into your computer. And it should like capture or like download your videos in like 4K or something. Like it's supposed to make like your videos and stuff like that or you're streaming really good. Um, this I will probably look more into later because I actually grabbed this mainly 
for a eventual level up, hopefully, because I have been thinking about trying to get a camera, like an actual camera soon. So I was like, if I do get an actual camera, then I can use this, this, this bad boy. Do I have an actual camera yet? No, so I'm not, I don't know how to use it. So I have, I don't, I don't know how to use it. So don't worry, Deshaun, you followed about as much as I followed as well with explaining it. <laughs> um, other thing I opened, I tried to open like the, the boring stuff first in case like people came in later. Um, and then the other thing I opened was I got the mini light. I have a little mini light, um, which charges and stuff and I can mount it. So I could even put this onto like a little mount or whatever. I wish I got the mini mount because that would have been nice, but you know, I couldn't put this on other stuff, but it's light. I believe I can change it from like white and warm. Um, and I think it has Wi-Fi and all this stuff. I have to like look at the booklet. It has like an actual booklet for this bad boy. So um, I'm very excited. It's very sturdy. Like it's a, it's a sturdy little thing. So I'm hoping that this will help me with my light, lighting shenanigans um, and whatnot. And the cord's very long, which I really, really like because like I'm no tech specialist, but one thing I hate is short cords with technology because how am I supposed to plug in all of my stuff and the cord is like this short. Like I can't, I can't, I don't know why people do that anymore. Like why, why do you do that? What's the, what was the point of that? So that is where we are. You guys are now caught up with everything I've opened so far. As you can see, I have not opened everything because I still got more. Um, and I have something in front of me, which I'm about to open up, which I've been also excited about. A lot of the, the blue ones are the ones I'm the most excited about. So that's why I haven't opened them yet. Um, but I have the wave mic arm. And I was saying that um, you guys both came in kind of during my spiel of when I won the last giveaway, which is absolutely wild that I'm saying that I technically won a giveaway with a bunch of stuff. And now I'm opening up a bunch of gifts from something else. My setup has like 100% been leveled up without me really paying anything, which is doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm rock with it. Um, I may expect the, the blessings. So all the stuff you got is like, didn't come in pairs, right? No, extra. what do you mean by didn't come in pairs, by the way? And by no extras, cause then I'll be able to answer you. I think I just haven't figured out what you mean. But yeah, so this is the, the mic arm I got in the last giveaway, a um, boom arm, but I didn't, it didn't really work right. So I got this one because this one's supposed to come out like sideways, like front, like it's supposed to say low. Oh, <laughs> Like, can you get some? I mean, unfortunately, though. No. Unfortunately. <laughs> like, if I have extras of stuff, though, I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know. But, you know. Oh, wait. Let me do the tape. I'm pretty sure there's tape. There's tape here. Let me tape. Undo this. But how are y'all doing on this white man's holiday? I hope that y'all are doing okay. Um... I think it's very fair to say that one, I already wasn't feeling very patriotic, but two, after the week that we had with all those Supreme Court decisions and things, I am, <laughs> I'm happy I celebrated Juneteenth. I'll, I'll say that. I'm happy I celebrated that instead. Um, Cause, and it's rainy and like cloudy for me. Like it is gray in the sky. That's a mess. <laughs> Juneteenth is a hundred percent our day. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'm I'm kind of excited about this. This is actually feels so compact. I I think I think this might work for me. Wait, I think this I think this might work. Cause even when I was like looking at it, I was like. Oh man, like, will this actually fit on my desk? Okay, so this is what it looks like, you know? Like, obviously it's not like set up. I don't have everything up yet, but, and then I have this thing, which of course it sits on. 
And I was saying earlier with the the mount, I will give it to Elgato because like, I really like the way that their desk mounts are, like their desk clamps. Cause a lot of other places I find when I get like the clamp for the desk, it's like they, I was saying earlier, it's like they just want your desk to be scratched and like end up being ugly. It's like they don't even want it to be where like you can ever take this thing off because it's just going to leave the ugliest mark. But like one, this is solid. This is really sturdy. And two, you probably can't see it. I'm gonna see if I can show you it by pulling it down some, but they put like a, like a, like a, um, not a like, like a non-slip or like scratch resistant type of surface. Like it's a felt or something on both sides. And I really like that because a lot of places would just leave it as this hard material. And then what always happens to me is they put the hard material as the clamp. And then when it touches the desk, one, I have a hard time clamping it because the whole time I'm pulling this up, it's just like rocking all over the place because it's not sturdy. And then like any little thing will make it want to move if it touches it, like I have it for my desk lamp, like one of my desk lamps and like one little, one little tap and that desk lamp, it's like this. <laughs> and I'm just like, why are you moving so much? And then it just keeps doing that. So I will say that with Elgato, at least they didn't do that. At least it hopefully seems like it's gonna be sturdy. We will see when I actually use it and I will give you the full verdict. Cause y'all know I do not hold back when it comes to me um, <laughs> giving my opinions about things. Um, <laughs> hi Eldridge, how are you doing? Welcome in. I'm doing a bit of an unboxing, which I don't get to often, but I figured it was a special occasion because I, if you don't know, I am part of a the, sh the streaming community of Brown Girl Gamer Code. And I've been in Brown Girl Gamer Code for like two years, I think, but I am also now part of their stream team. And because BGGC had kind of had a slight relationship with Elgato because of like some context contests that BGGC has done, Elgato decided to gift our stream team some items from Elgato. So we got to choose like three things from like each section that we wouldn't mind having. And since I'm in the stream team, I got to get a whole bunch of goodies. So that is what I am doing today. So yeah, I hope that you're doing good though. How are you, Eldridge? You know, focusing on what I can control type. <laughs> What's the point if it can't get dirty? <laughs> I can't stand you, Deshaun. Is number still a thing? I don't know. Nah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't. But anyway. So I got this one because, oh, hashtagging. I don't know why my first, my first instinct was number. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I think I still hashtag everything, if we're being honest. But, so I got the mic arm. I got this one because I have slanted ceilings. And I don't think that slanted ceilings work well with the mic arm to go up. So I got this one because instead it can be set up like this and I can just pull this bad boy out or I can like have it like this and just, and it goes all directions. Look at that. Like this thing can just be housed in the back of my desk like this, <laughs> like this. <laughs> and then when I need stream, just whoop, pull that bad boy out if I need it for my mic, you know? Cause this is for my mic, which means I should do my mic next. Cause I, I possibly have another mic. I'm not getting rid of my mic that I have, which let me show you, it's my blue mic. This is the one I got from the giveaway. And honestly, it's my baby. I kind of like, I like adore this microphone. I really do like it a lot. Um, it's the best microphone I've ever had, <laughs> which says something probably, but I'm not getting rid of it because I want to test out this new microphone and see if I like it and if I don't like it or it's too complicated for me 
for the time being, then I'll switch to that one. And also, you don't know, I might need a microphone, like two microphones later on. So I'm gonna have two of them, but I'm very excited about setting this up. Like, I am very excited about it. And I think this goes in like this. I think it goes into like this part or whatever. Okay, and then there's like the screws, I think. Or do I even need the screws? That. I feel like gravity just kind of takes over it after this. I feel like that's just. Do I need. I don't even know. We'll figure it out. I have the, the pan. Hit myself in the face with this. I have the pamphlets and stuff. So I don't. I'm a millennial. I don't throw these things away. I have my closet is literally full of all of my tech tech boxes. I'm slightly ashamed to say that. I saw a TikTok recently. And that's what they were like, you're you're a true millennial if like you have all of your phone boxes and all of your technology boxes, like please throw them out. And the person just kind of slowly looked over at all of the boxes that they still had from like Apple and everything. And then they just, they slowly went and like threw them all out. That's me. Except I heard that and I didn't throw them out. I just was like, well, guess that's just me. And I just accepted it. I'm just putting this back down so I can close it. You're further back than me, that's hilarious. We're going into cyberpunk territory now. Tech going crazy, listen. But also like, I need to try to play Cyberpunk again, but like at the same time, I feel like it's probably not gonna happen yet because I actually finally gave in and I bought Breath of the Wild. Yes, I am very behind. Um, I'm just now getting Breath of the Wild, but still I got Breath of the Wild. So I'm, I'm very excited. I've been playing it at my leisure. I've decided that Breath of the Wild is my game, as in like, it is my game that I play to relax. I don't share with anybody. I take screenshots just because I want to take it and I play it while I'm in my bed about to go to go to sleep. Um, that is what Breath of the Wild is for me. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. Some of them, I mean, it's all fun. All of it's fun stuff though, if we're being honest. You just peeped all the boxes in the back? Yeah. Majority of those boxes have not been opened. Like, actually, let me do it in a way. All of those have not been opened. So I moved it over so that you can see the things that have not been opened. Next thing is I have the mic, the Wave DX and the Wave XLR. So if I can figure out how to actually use these bad boys, this will probably be a very big level up for possibly like my sound, like my mic stuff. Um, how to use it, I don't know. I will have to really sit and figure it out. But I'm really excited about the possibility of figuring it out. Cause this is supposedly like real audio stuff, you know? Like actual audio stuff. So, I'm quite excited about that. Yeah, PS Vita days was like that. In bed gaming was the best. That's why I need to get me a Steam Deck. Listen, like, I don't know. Being, I guess now, especially streaming, like I used to play games on my computer and I was fine, but I think maybe it's cause now I stream. So like, I'm always at my computer playing games and I've now had like the most intense urge to have games to play on my bed or on a couch or something. Like I miss those days of like playing my consoles and just like sitting on my, my couch or my bed and just playing it and not having to sit up straight in my desk at like my regular desk chair. So like now when I stream most of the time, sometimes my back is like in pain. <laughs> I just try not to mention it to y'all, but like a lot of times, like I'm not very comfortable anymore. Like while I'm streaming, I'm enjoying the game, but 
but I can't like enjoy the game the way that I would want to because I'm not comfortable, if that makes sense. So like, I wish I could have like a more comfortable chair to help me be able to relax. Because honestly, streams would probably be a lot longer if I actually was comfortable sitting in the chair and I could just do that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's what's been happening. So I'm really happy that now I can like play Breath of the Wild and just like lay in my bed and just sit there and just play my game. BGGC getting Steam decks next? I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, maybe. <laughs> If BGGC gets Steam decks next, I'll make sure to have my game ready for the next Steam's next fest. This week. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, to be honest, I, I wish it was all true for all of us, though. Honestly, it's really just because I was part, I'm part of the stream team. I'm very thankful that I got to be um, part of it and be in the community. Because, you know, I'm not just, I'm not only happy that I'm in the stream team because I get to get gifts. Like, BGGC is a wonderful community. Awesome, awesome people. So I'm very excited, but I'm also very excited to open up some some stuff. <laughs> also, how are you doing, Sam? How are you? I will show you the updates of all the various things that I've acquired or opened so far in a little bit. Um, especially at the end, like 100% at the end, I will show it too. But I will give you an update in a little. This is how the inside of this box is. This is the way the XLR. So it comes. Oh. Is this the cords? Oh, yes. This is all the cords. I'm going to leave that in there. Cords and pamphlets. I didn't know there were perks like that, though. I might have to come out of stream for retirement. I mean, I guess it just depends on which um communities you decide to be a part of, you know? And how active you are too, probably. I think active, like how active you are definitely plays a role in it. Ooh. Okay, so it's in the plastic and stuff. Oh, you've been working on a logo design? How's that going for you? Oh, this has a sticker on it. Oh, this is nice. This is what it looks like. I know I'm far away today. It's literally like I had to be far away in order for you guys. I'm literally, so I have a little tiny table, like desk. I have my desk. I have a little fold up table up in front of me. And then I have a gazillion books on top of that table, just so that the boxes can kind of have a little height so you guys can see it. <laughs> But this is it. This is cool. Do I understand how to use it, though? No. <laughs> Absolutely don't. But it does have a USB slot, a headset, and then it has the slot for the microphone, which I'm going to open next because it's for this microphone. We're going to put that bad boy in there. It's so pretty. And you can get face plates for it, which is really cool. That name. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Platinum. That's amazing. Welcome. Um, how are you doing? If you would like to lurk, though, feel free to lurk. <laughs> Oh man, that's amazing. But yeah, I'm just opening some stuff up. So we're gonna do the mic next. Ignore the phone. My mom will grab it. Ray, it is priceless. I love it. Have you seen the Pepsi logo's most recent? infamously intricate style guide wait no or actually i might have like saw that someone had posted it and i just didn't look at it logos are hard because it's more than just drawing something it's trying to capture brand identity and something see that's why i don't do logos 
That's that's genuinely why I say I don't do logos. And I get so upset <laughs> when like people are like, oh, you do art, or at least before, they don't do it to me anymore, I think, because now they see I've gone so fantasy that they're just like, oh, never mind. Um, and I told people no so much because like I honestly hate when like somebody finds out that I do art and they're just like, oh, cool, you do art, can you do my logo? And I'm looking at them like, do you see these elves? Do you, do you see the stuff that I'm doing? Does it look like I do any type of graphic design or logo making? No, I'm not doing, no. I don't know how to do logos. I don't. It's too stressful for me. Oh, the pamphlet. Ugh. You'll post it in Discord? Yes, post it in Discord. If you do any art, you do all the art. That's the rule. <laughs> That's true. You did not lie. All right. Got it. All right. Comes in this thing. Everything feels so, like, solid. I really like that. Oh, it has a little... Oh, okay, so you speak into this end specifically. I remember hearing that. They made sure that you know it. They, they put it right there so you can always remember to speak into this end. Um, oh yeah, this is nice. So it got that. And then I'm assuming my cord is in here somewhere. I will find it later. I'm not going to take the cord out. Because how am I set the stuff out? But it goes in this. And then more than likely, I snake it through the um the wave arm and then it just points up at me and i'll talk like this i'll sound like an announcer i'm wondering if you guys will like when it is finally set up if you guys will notice the difference um i also one thing i do notice that i need to start to not feel bad about is i need to start not feeling weird about if you guys can see my microphone i don't know why for some reason I have like this mindset like, oh, you guys aren't supposed to see that I have a mic. <laughs> but then I'll see other people and their, their mic is right up in their face. And I'm like, why am I so nervous about like see, letting y'all see that I actually have a microphone? Like, it's fine if it's in the screen. As long as it's not like blocking my view of like everything. This is the Wave DX. So I now have the Wave DX which is like supposed to be like a really, really good microphone or like the, I guess the fancier type ones. And I have the Wave XLR for it because from what I know, you cannot use this mic without this. Like you can't. So like even with like Elgato, a lot of us, a lot of us forgot to put this on, on our list of items to get but we had this on it so elgato took it upon themselves i think and they just sent us all this because they were like why are y'all buying this mic without this it's not going to work <laughs> you, you, you can't you can't use this without it so um so yeah so i have to use this so i don't i don't know anything about audio so this i don't know what i'm doing with this but we will figure it out. So the mic will not be switched right away. None of the switch stuff will actually be switched right away, to be honest. I feel like it's gonna be a slightly slow um, thing that's gonna happen because I need to know how to use all of this um, and like how to set it up. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. I'm trying to, to put this thing back in here without it like breaking. You know what? We're just gonna have to keep this one out the box. Just trying to get this back in here without messing up this. Oh wait, maybe I do. If I do it like this, no, nope. We're gonna leave it out. We're gonna leave it out. <laughs> That's what we'll do. The Wave Mic software is actually wild, is it? If you know about it, then you should help me one day when it's time for me to set it up. <laughs> when it's time for me to actually use it you should you should be around to, to help uh -huh. the live level up the live level up is crazy it is all right next up 
I, I think it's, it's, I think it's only best that I do this because it was mentioned already. I have a steam deck, stream deck. <laughs> um, I have this. Um, and on top of this, so this is the other thing that I wanted to announce that I haven't been able to announce for a very long time and I was kind of frustrated about it, but we're not gonna get into that right now. We'll get into that in one of my normal streams. Um, we'll get we'll, we'll get into Elgato another day. But I won a competition a while ago and it was an art competition and it was to design like artwork that could go on a stream deck. And I won, it was hosted by BGGC. It took a while. So within that time, I, re I redrew it and I was able to redraw it recently with my recent skill level up. So it has finally come. So I have a faceplate for it. It was supposed to be themed for BGGC. So that is why we have these colors. But this is my faceplate that I drew. Hopefully you guys will be able to see it. I know that the lighting is a little bad, but yeah. This is my face plate that I made for the stream deck in honor of BGC. Very excited about it. But I also have a stream deck. So I, this, I am excited about this. I am excited about the stream deck. Um, I don't even know what I'm gonna use it for yet. But I'm excited about it. And you already know that this thing is going on to my stream deck, so it's gonna go onto it. I'm very excited about that. So let's get this one open. Oh, there's still tape on this side. One side the tape has come off and the other side it did. We are about to get the greatest scene transitions in all time. Listen, the thing, oh, it's so Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, like, the the ideas I have in my mind for, like, my starting screen and stuff like that, I, I already have ideas. It's just execution, especially because a lot of my ideas for, like, my stream, like, overlays is honestly, Sam, you are not wrong. <laughs> What's funny is I got this desk a year ago because of the giveaway that I won, which is wild. The giveaway I won, I got this desk because I my other desk was not able to fit it. The on, My only problem with this desk has always been it is not deep enough. Like it is, it's not deep enough for me. Um, so that's always been my problem. But for now, I'm gonna make it work because like I said, I just bought this desk a year ago. I'm not trying to buy another one. Um, here it is. Oh, this is nice. Can I just pop this bad boy on? Or do I have to like take that part off first? I think I do. I think I have to take the black one. Okay. That that just that just comes off then. Okay. I didn't know that that was just gonna come off. I didn't know it was gonna come off like that. I got so scared. Okay, first I wanna see the, where the book is because this is one that I do wanna make sure I don't like accidentally take off the, the face and then it's not the actual face, it's just the actual electronic. Let me see how to take the face away. <laughs> Cause I wanna put my thing on it. Um. Faceplates can easily be switched out for custom. Yeah, I guess you just pull this bad boy off. Okay. That was so wild. I was not expecting it. Okay, because this doesn't go on top, right? Like, yeah, I have to take, okay, then I have to just be, I have to be brave and I need to just take it off. Somehow. <laughs> I'm scared though, but. I want to take it off. I want to put mine on. Somehow, some way. 
like, oh, like I can see where it wants to come off. And then it's like, no, I'm not gonna come off. This thing on here is sturdy too. Everything will I will say has seemed at least like it's been good quality. Ah, come on. I have weak little arms. I need you to come off already. So I can stop embarrassing myself for the stream. I can't get the freaking faceplate off. I'm saying it really can't. Wait, did my music turn off? I think it's about to turn off. No, it's not about to turn off. I thought it was about to turn off. See, this is why I need help all the time with things because it's so hard sometimes to take these things off. Come on. I'm gonna end up having to like take it off to, like later. Oh, because I just wanted to put my my freaking faceplate. Like I keep, it's like the sides keep kind of coming off, but it won't like I guess snap off of it. Like. It says they can easily be switched out. How easy you talking? Obviously not that easy. my face laid on it. I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Or like after stream. I have to have like my dad do it. <laughs> I can't lift it up. I would be that person. It's it's literally just lifting it. Like the it literally says it in here. It's like the picture is just them like pulling it up. Like <laughs> <laughs> I hate that for me. Oh, like what? That tutorial don't help me because they did that so easy. I'm not looking at this no more. <laughs> they got like the the like the man hands. They they got the strength. <laughs> I try to do it. I ain't gonna do that for me. We're gonna do it later. But anyways, look how pretty it is. <laughs> We're gonna pretend. We're gonna imagine what it looks like. Ooh, look! I put it on. The faceplate is now on the <laughs> my stream deck. Isn't it pretty? It's so nice. <laughs> so pretty. This is going back in here for now. <laughs> I will I will set it up another day when I I guess I have strength. See, as you guys can tell, my strength score is in the negatives. I probably have like an eight at best, probably a six. My strength score is not high. I think I I fall into the bard category more than likely, but like not the type of bard that like fights. I just inspire. Like, like that's, that's all I do. I I only inspire. That's it. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm not so if you have me swing at somebody you're gonna be real upset because it ain't gonna go anywhere oh wait I forgot to put the thing with the um this with it it's little stand that's why it like just kind of fell <laughs> so I will be sure though to take a picture of it when it's actually there actually I'm gonna leave this one out of the box it's so pretty. I can't wait to figure out like where it's gonna actually sit on my desk. 
because now I need to find a spot for like the XLR thing, the audio knob, the stream deck, and eventually maybe like a, my lights. Yeah, I have above 10 in decks. I have above 10 in decks. I feel like I'm fairly agile. Oh, I broke my nail. I'm a very active person. So, I feel like I have a book to. Am I high though in decks? Probably not high. I'm probably like mediocre. I'm decent. I have like an 11. <laughs> I'm not 14. I'm like. See, the, I say I still have the decks because I've, I've played sports and stuff. I can run. I've danced, all that stuff. Um, but it's gone down because I haven't done it in a long time. That's why I say I'm an 11. I'm not a 10, but I'm an 11. I'm, I'm pretty good. Imagine, right? I honestly wonder what I would, what my scores would be. I feel like I'd be decent in charisma. I feel like my, I feel like my charisma stat and my wisdom stat would be my highest. I think that's what I'd be. I think my wisdom and my charisma would be my highest. My charisma might be my highest, possibly. Which also fits with me being, prob I'd probably be a bard. I I'd most likely be a bard. Um, I inspire you all with my art and my creativity. That's, that's what I do. Oh, this is the cables for the XLR stuff. For the mic microphone. That's all this is. Nothing very exciting. Hi, Sprinkle! I'm doing my unboxings. I will go back through everything when I get towards the end. But yeah, intelligence would still be good though. I don't think I'd be low intelligence. I feel like I'd be average. But I feel like I feel like I'd probably be like average, but like just like a little bit above 10. Like I'm not like the most I wouldn't be most intelligent. But I still I I still would be good. I still would be smart. But like my strength and my con, unfortunately. My strength and con would be low. Like, it would be where if I was a character in D&D, it would, the person probably debate it between having my dump stat be con or strength. So they both ended up being dump stats for the worst scores. <laughs> That's probably what would happen. Because the way my stomach hates me and the way I can't ever sleep, and the way I can't drink nothing, my con is low. If anything, you know what? My con is my dump stat. My strength is still higher than my con. I feel. I think that's what it is. I feel like. I feel like my strength would be maybe an eight with a good minus one, and my con would be like a whatever, whatever bad one it is. My con is my dump stat. That's me. I'm not. I'm not doing well. I'm always going to be drinking the health potions. My health is always low. <laughs> a bar that inspire, inspires with visual art than music. I feel like that's possible. I've also seen videos where, um, and then I'm gonna open up the face cam. I've seen videos where people are like, bards don't have to just be musicians. And like, technically, I really do wholeheartedly believe that. I don't think bards have to just be musicians. I feel like bards should encompass almost any type of form of creativity. Like, as long as you are like exceptional at that thing, I feel like it is perfect for people who are like just creative in general. So like, you could be a dancer probably. Like imagine you're a bard, but you're like a dancer. And like the way that you inspire everybody is like, maybe you are like really fluid and like you dance 
on the battlefield or something and like that's how you do it or you you inspire because you're into theater and like you do amazing speeches and stuff like that or whatever it is like i feel like as long as you have some sort of form of creativity that you can inspire others with through the arts in general it works because to me the art like creatives dabble in everything anyway and that works because to me whenever i read bards and of course i'm still a baby D, &D player so i might be wrong but to me, whenever I read about bards, it is the essence of that because it's like bards know a lot of stuff. Like bards are like drawn to knowledge and learning things. And that's why they go to colleges and stuff like that. Cause it's like, they are into learning as much stuff as they can. They're into learning as many stories as they can. Like they probably dabble in as many types of arts as they can. Like a musician probably has so many different like musical instruments and they may even like do poetry on the side or something like you have a dancer maybe they also dabble in like art and all this other stuff and like that's what they do like artists in general that's that's what they do like do you understand how many different forms of art i would be doing if i didn't need to spend money on it i would be making rugs and like ceramics and everything else under the sun because i always have the urge to do it <laughs> But that's my bard rant. Also, I'm going to play a bard. So I had to, I'm getting into the mode of a bard um, recently because I'm going to play a bard very soon. Oh, I just gave you an idea. Let me do this quick caricature <laughs> mid combat so y'all can fight better. Honestly, that would be wild and I would like live for it if like that bard, <laughs> if like it was a theater major and like they just had like not a theater major, but like a theater person. And they had a bunch of masks, like the old timey masks with the different emotions. And like maybe their thing was like, they acted out the emotions <laughs> that they think the villain is going through or that they think their people are going through. And they're basically like narrating the fight to inspire their friends. And they're using the, oh, now I have to use that. I have to create a bar that does that. That's an amazing concept, I think. Anyways, this is the, what, the face cam. I have another webcam, <laughs> which I'm very excited about because now I can have two webcams, like I said, for like the art type stuff, especially like if I want to do something where I want you guys to see what I'm doing, but I still want you guys to see me like today. This would have been would have worked great for today, honestly. So. Right. Wouldn't that be such a cool idea? Like, that would be great. You just have to, you know, stay away from everybody. Like, and everybody that you play, that I would play with, or you'd play with, with a character like that, I feel like the whole party would have to be okay with the fact that you are not a damage dealer. Like, you are not going to do a lot of damage. Like, you might do some, because obviously, like, maybe you, like, try to be more spell-based or something, and, like, maybe you hit people with, like, your instrument, I don't know, or, like, with your masks but you're probably not gonna do tons of damage or at least i wouldn't do tons of damage because my strength would be low um i made in the bar that i'm gonna use i made my dump stat my intelligence <laughs> so she's just not very smart because i just also didn't want to die and i was like i feel like she would actually hit people so like her strength shouldn't be her dump stat that would be kind of not great and i didn't want to do that to the rest of the party i didn't want to make it where like my damage was like two or <laughs> like my damage was really bad. So um, I was like, let me not make my strength my dump stat. And I did intelligence, which still fits. But this is my webcam. Is the campaign going to be streamed? It's not actually. This is gonna be a like just fully home one. And it's gonna be the first campaign that I'm gonna get to play in person. I actually, it's, um, don't worry, you're not derailing it, because I talk anyway. Um, but it's gonna be the first one I get to play in person because it's a bunch of my friends that I've made over the last couple of years. And we are gonna do like a trip and we're gonna play D&D together. So I'm very excited about it. So no, it's not gonna be straight. But this is the webcam. It's big. It's honestly bigger. It's bigger than the one I have. 
and like when I set it up, I will figure out if I will make this my new webcam and have my Logitech one be for like my other stuff. See, I'm not doing that on stream. I am not about to have stream go out because I decided to mess with some cords. That's happened too many times to me. Not gonna do it. So we're just gonna have to, I'm gonna do all these tests after stream because I don't trust Streamlabs to continue going. I don't trust them. <laughs> it is thick. Hi, Jabara. How are you doing? I, I broke my nail. I want to cut the nail though. Let me just get my clipper really quick because it's just going to keep ripping. My nail broke off. Will it be a one shot? It actually is not going to be a one shot. So it is going to be, I think I, I, think I might've told you the name of it. We're gonna do the campaign that is a third party module. It's Sunken Isles that was on Kickstarter. So we're gonna do that. It's supposed to take you up a level every like in-game week or something. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. And I think what the plan is, is we're not gonna do it as a one shot and we're gonna see how it goes, of course, with this first one. And then hopefully we'll continue to do this campaign by like doing trips to see each other. Um, like we'll plan it out and then we'll do more and stuff like that. So we're supposed to play and hopefully maybe get through like a couple weeks in game, maybe, maybe we'll see how it goes. Cause it's just gonna be a weekend that we go. So, but I'm excited for it. You just finished Dr. Stone season three and the Korean horror show, Sweet Home. You were in shambles. Oh, well, at least it was good. I am doing an unboxing and also talking about D&D because that's what we did here. Um, but yeah, so this is it. I'm very excited about it. I will like, I of course will keep you guys updated about how I feel about everything like as I go. But hold on, I wanna take the, there we go. There's the cap. I was like, I want to see what it looks like without the cap on it. Um, hi. Can I just, can I put it back on too? Put it back. Oh, that's how I do it. Nice. That's cool. I like that I can put the cap on it. Um, I will tell you guys how I feel about it. Like as I start to like use it and stuff. But so far, everything feels very like sturdy, which I like. I kind of like the feel of how it is. Not saying that the Logitech stuff is bad. I still look, I still use my webcam to this day. I love it. Um, but I am going to try to do some tests to see what's better. Oh, pizza! There's a lot of double music though going. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my friends. Um, how are you guys doing? Thank you for the, the read. Um, for anybody who doesn't know who I am, I'm Mono. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I don't normally stream on Tuesdays, but it's a special stream because I'm doing an unboxing because since I am part of BGC, um, Elgato decided to gift the stream team a bunch of goodies. So I'm very excited. I've been opening up some stuff, but thank you so much for the raid pizza. Thank you for giving a shout out to pizza. Also definitely like check out pizza. Pizza is an awesome, awesome streamer. Um, how was Dredge? I've been seeing that you've been playing it. I've been, every time you play Dredge Pizza, I want to pop in and like watch, but I want to play Dredge. So that's the only reason why I don't. But also, if you need to raid and run, please do. If you need to get food, need to use the bathroom, anything that you need to do, feel free to. That goes for every single person that came in with the raid. Um, but thank you so much for coming by and hanging out. Yes, it's nice to meet you too, Happy. <laughs> 
so very nice to meet you. How are you doing? Oh, you finished it? Oh, it was, I'm assuming it was good. You should play, I do wanna play it. It's on my list. It's on my list of things to play. I think I remember seeing you play it or like talk about it during some, it was like a panel, I think. And you were like talking about indie games or you got to like participate in a panel and talk about indie games. And I think the game you talked about was Dredge. And I remember seeing it and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, I have to do it. I have to, I have to play it. <laughs> I, was, I think I went and like wish listed it like right away, like after I saw it. It was super good. Nice. That tone. I didn't use any tone. <laughs> uh huh. You don't talk about things. Uh huh. Pizza. Sure. But, anyways. Also, um, yeah, you guys came in during the unboxing. I technically only have three things left. So I was going to like stop and like show you guys everything, but I kind of feel like I might as well just finish unboxing everything and then I'll go back through everything and like let you guys see um, what I've already unboxed. Um, but yeah, like I said, I was able to be gifted stuff from Elgato. Ooh, one thing I will also show, because I showed it already, but I'm still excited about it. But uh, besides the gifting of Elgato, we got that. But then also, I was in a contest and I won it, an art contest hosted by BGGC, where we had to, we got to draw artwork based off of BGGC that could be on a faceplate for a stream deck. And I won, and it finally came. And I also, also redrew my entry because it was so long. Before I got it. So I redrew it, and this is the new face plate that I got finally for BGTC. I'm very excited about it, very happy about it. Um, but yeah, this is it. No problem, yeah. I hope that dog sitting goes well, Pizza. Thank you again, though, for the raid and for sharing your community with me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> you cut that clip. Not you got that clip. Or do I have to like take that part off? I think I do. I think I have to take the black one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't realize you clipped that. I really got scared too. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to do that. But okay. Next up. I think next up is lights. Oh, okay, I have a couple things. I'll start with this one because then I'll get to the big box. So, there's another one I'm, I'm quite excited about. I saw this, I was like, I need to do get it. I, I partially still don't know how to utilize it, but I feel like I do. And I think I know how to insert it into my PC, but I got the 4K60 Pro and I believe this is like supposed to help like with the quality of like capturing the games that I play. Like it's supposed to make it all run at like really fast at like 60 frames per second and whatnot. And just, just make it really good. Like I think it's supposed to almost like help out maybe my graphics card. But this bad boy gotta get inserted into my PC. So I gotta be tech whiz and like put this thing in there. Is it for playing games? I, Cause I feel like there was another one for playing games on console and I don't think I got that one. It says on here, I'll read what the, it says on the box. It says, capture immaculate 4K HDR content at 60 frames per second. Power your workflow with superior low latency technology and easily record and export to your favorite app. Cause this bad boy goes in. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's that one. Cause I feel like I remember seeing that one and I was like, you know what? It's not worth it to get because I don't have a console and I don't know if I'm gonna get a console yet. So I was like, oh, I might not get that. I feel like this one was just supposedly supposed to just help with like 
the quality of it, but who knows? Maybe it's not. Maybe you're right. You will see. I mean, technically, y'all now know what it is, so y'all can, like, look at the site and whatnot and see what it says. Okay, it has more stuff. Um, no, it doesn't. It's in a different language. <laughs> Well, this is how it comes in the box. Looks like this. I just want to pick it up. I'm not gonna like really handle it because I don't want to accidentally like shock it or anything. I'm not about to mess up this graphic stuff. Oh, I'm excited. That's how it looks. Does it come with... What is it? Oh, okay. It comes with, like, the little bracket things, I think. So that it doesn't fall. Let's set it up. I'm gonna go look at the site, because... Is it that? Is it that thing? Did I get the the one for the console and I just didn't realize I got it for the console? I feel like the other one was something Yeah, because I think the co the console one was the HD 60X. That's what that was. The console one was that. So where is, let me look up the, the thing that I want to see. Products. Ah, I almost had it. 40, 4K. Yeah, I think it's just a state-of-the-art capture solution that takes production quality to the extreme, supports crystal clear 4K resolution at 60 FPS, and vibrant, vibrant HDR10 imaging. Um, simultaneously capture video in multiple apps. Works out of the box with all streaming software, including OBS Studio, Streamlabs OBS, and XSplit. In slot, several 4K60 Pro cards into one. Dedicated software for maximum performance, powerful yet easy to use. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just supposed to make it easier for my PC to like, I guess, run all the games. Yeah, because that's why I think I got it. Because I looked at the HD. One, like that other one I looked at that other one and I was like it's a capture card for console but it doesn't say anything about capturing it for consoles it's just an internal capture card as opposed to an external one it just supports higher frame rates than other cards. See, then that's why I'm confused, because it doesn't say anything about consoles. Whereas the, what's it called? The, where is it? The HD60X is literally for consoles. Like, it, it says, lets you capture PS5 or Xbox and play like a pro, blah, 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 stream or record high resolution content for audiences on any platform. But the 40, the 40, 4K 60 Pro, it's just that it lets you capture immaculate 4K 60 HDR 10 content, empower your workflow with ultra low latency technology. So 
So I guess that's where I'm getting confused. Because the other the other one is talks all about consoles. This one it doesn't. You can also use it to do like a two PC setup or plug in a camera to it. You have your Switch that's a console. No, yeah, I get that. I'm just trying to find where on the actual site it talks about consoles. It doesn't say anything about consoles for this one. I per I honestly think you guys are thinking of the other one. I don't, it doesn't say anything about consoles for the 4K one. Like you could probably help, it probably helps with your console, maybe if you have it set up to be viewed there, but it doesn't say anything about consoles. Oh, I see what's happening. The capture card is a device used to capture external video, audio inputs but plugging the devices into it. Yes. And this one is literally just like, it's supposed to just help with when you run your games and you have your app set up. Like it just goes inside. Whereas the other one, you're supposed to plug in all your stuff, but it literally doesn't say anything about running consoles. Like I said, it probably can help you run your consoles, but it, it seems like it's supposed to just help with your PC with streaming and like gaming and stuff. Like give it a boost or something like that. Of course I still have to look more into it, but that's what the site basically says. Consoles really be on the short end of the stick when it comes to streaming. Oh, I was just saying, cause you said you didn't think you would get a console. So just, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a console. Technically, and when I said that, I don't mean that I won't get a console. I love consoles. Um, I um, technically have consoles, but I don't have the new ones. So I mean more like if I don't end up getting like the like the the new X, like the Xbox or something, um, or if I don't get like the OLED Switch, things like that. Because I'm not gonna stream from my my little Switch. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> But I might start running PlayStation games, so we'll be using it with that. Nice! I really don't be hearing anything stream tech-wise, specifically for consoles. Yeah, well, I mean, technically they have that external one. They have the HD 60X, which seems really cool, because it's supposed to make it where it's a lot easier to run your, like, console games and have good performance when you're streaming and stuff like that. So, but... I will still keep what you guys said in mind about this, but I will look more into it um, when I start setting it up. Because, yeah, I just personally feel like if it was to run like consoles as an internal hard drive, I just feel like it would say it. Especially with how much info is on that site. I feel like they would say that and it doesn't say that. So, um, but I'll keep it in mind. <laughs> so the next thing that I did get was the light strip, which I'm very excited about. I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet, but I was just like, I've always wanted some light strips. So I was like, I can finally have some like RGB <laughs> like stuff, or at least, yeah, RGB setup. I can have some colored lights in my room someplace. Let's see how long they are, actually. Ooh. So this is the light strips. This is how they come in the package, also. I've been talking a lot. Oh. All right, how long are these? I'm not expecting them to be long. Honestly, but anything will still, oh. Oh, these are actually longer than I thought they would be. I wasn't actually expecting them to be this long. Like, I know technically it's not that long, but like, I'm short though, but this, it's, it is not as wide as my arms, it is wider. 
This isn't bad. This is not bad at all, actually. Oh, and then this is where I guess I put them into, I put them in like this, into that. These are light strips. So I can have like a little RGB set up someplace in my room and have my light strips all set up. Oh, cool. I gotta like really figure out a good place for it. Now I think my music might be about to turn off. So what I'm gonna do is just restart it now <laughs> so that it doesn't shut off on me. I'm gonna roll it back up. And then of course it has like the cord and things like that that I'll need. I'll have to like figure out how I, oh. Oh, that must be. Oh, oh, hold on. Let's see something. They finished rolling this up. Because <laughs> it's just like so much. Like, I don't know if I'm going to set this up at my desk or if I'm going to set this up, um, like, behind me or something and, like, make it look pretty for another part of my room. That's what I have to figure out. But if I decide to do it for another part of my room, then I am probably not gonna put it up yet because I kinda wanna fix some stuff in my room. My mom wants to paint. Well, my mom wants to like do carpet, so I wanna paint my room. So that will probably happen very soon, hopefully. That's, that's the hope. Which will also mean I will be out for the count for a bit when that does finally happen. I will of course let y'all know but like, yeah, I'm not gonna probably be able to use my room for a little bit. Unless like I bring my laptop, not my laptop, my computer downstairs somehow. What is... Oh. Oh, you know what? That is very convenient. They give you all of the different types of chargers you might need, like the plugs for different countries. I only realized this because when I traveled to France, I didn't realize that other, like, countries have different, like, sockets. So we had to get all of these adapters. I know it's white, so you guys kind of can't see anything. But, like, I had to get the different adapters. So, okay, that's cool. So they have the different adapters in here. They have three different ones. In case you're from some one of those countries. Nice, helpful. We like that. I do need this to close though. So <laughs> I'm gonna need it to like close. All right. You stepped away for a second? No, you don't have to apologize for stepping away. You're trying to figure out how best to map out your schedule to prepare for our B Boulder's Gate 3 campaign? Our Boulder Gate 3 campaign? <laughs> But it does drop August 3rd. Oh, nice. I do honestly want to play Boulder Skate. I've just been waiting for the, the actual regular drop for it. Like, I've been waiting for it to like, come out. All right. Last thing, technically. And then I guess I'll go back over everything that I did get to show you guys it. And that'll, that'll be our fun boxing stream, which has been very fun, I must say. Last thing, well actually no, this isn't the last thing, but I will say this, this is the last thing I will be unboxing today. I'll show you why this is not the un the last of it, but this is the last thing I will be opening today. Um, I got the key light air, so I got another light. <laughs> and this is a, a big boy, it's a bigger one at least. So let me find where the tape is stand and do this so that I can actually see what I'm doing. Thank 
you. I've been having fun. I'm happy that you guys had it. I know that it was a bit like um sudden, but like I said in the very beginning, I kind of this this unboxing. I never was actually able to like set a date because I knew I wanted to do a live unboxing and between having to like we were waiting to figure out when we could like post about it and then a monkey wrench got thrown in by you know the stuff that was happening with El Cato, which we don't condone obviously um I don't know why they made that tweet but we decided to still go ahead because we had all this stuff and we were like are we just supposed to to like hide it are we supposed to just like not show it so we still wanted to show our stuff so um finally got to go ahead the official post went out yesterday so i was like you know what screw it we doing it tomorrow so and then i forgot that it was independence day but like i said i am not patriotic this year because there is too much stuff happening um so i was like we still go straight I'll just maybe do it earlier so that y'all can get here in case other people decide to make some burgers or whatnot to, I guess, celebrate our country or whatever. Um, I had Ju Juneteenth. That's all that mattered to me. So I'm fine. It is cloudy today. It is gray. I am fine not celebrating it. <laughs> um, but anyways, I've been, oh, okay. <laughs> on big facts of the whatever yeah that's oh let me let me save myself the pain that was about to happen <laughs> it was upside down all right this big boy Come on, come on, chicken. <laughs> I was like, I had to move the box because <laughs> I was gonna drop it. All right, cardboard, pamphlet, and a bunch of the cardboard stuff. See, Katana, I agree, but also at the same time, I don't need everybody celebrating Juneteenth. And by everybody, I mean all, all the other people. <laughs> like, because then it becomes like how Fourth of July is, where there's like, or the other holidays where there's no importance. Like for me, I enjoy Juneteenth because it it really is an important holiday for like me and my family and my ancestors. And like now even like the fact that you even get it off now, everybody's just like, hey, it's a day off. Da -da -da -da. I'm like, no, it's not just a day off. Like it's an important day. Like I don't need the commercialization of Juneteenth either. Um, so that's the, the thing I grapple with. <laughs> that's the thing I grapple with for it. Okay, so we have these, more of the, oh, oh, there it is. The little matte thing that goes with this. Oh, that's how I feel about it. I know there's people who are still celebrating 4th of July, and that's fine, I mean, cool for them if they still feel patriotic for a country that did all of the various things that just happened with the Supreme Court, but you know, if they're cool with that, that's fine, whatever. I won't be celebrating, but you know, that's that's up to them. That's their prerogative. <laughs> all right, so we got the different ports. Let me move this back into the box. We don't need that right now. Good to know though that I have it if I needed it. If I see one more Juneteenth Wakanda forever so far next year, no, I haven't seen it. I part, I honestly purposely like tried my best to like not see anything about Juneteenth 
besides like from actual black people, if that makes sense. Like I tried really hard to not engage with that type of stuff. And like on one hand, I I will no, I don't follow it. Um, for any people who like aren't used to talking about this type of stuff on stream, I don't apologize, but now you know. Um, I don't mind talking about this type of stuff sometimes, as long as we are all on the same page. If you're a bigot, you will get banned. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, I try not to engage with it because it was gonna make me upset. Like, I feel like it's the same premise as like when, um, like Mexican people get mad about the way that people celebrate like Cinco de Mayo. And they're just like, oh, it's tequila day. And they're like, can you please not wear a sombrero today? Like, can you stop? Like, that's how I feel it's about to be with Juneteenth, you know? Like, I feel like it's about to be the same way. Um, like, it's ridiculous. Once things get commercialized a bit, it's just downhill sometimes. So this is the face of it. And then this, is the stand well the whole part of the stand and then this is the base which is very nice because it's still sturdy i like that the base is so sturdy but like it's not as heavy as like the heavy base of the multi mount thing which you will see in a minute i will make myself not dashiki day yes that's exactly what it's gonna be you're just gonna see a bunch of people in dashikis and afros um <laughs> Like, that's what's gonna happen. And we're gonna be having the same conversation that we always have. I think it's gonna be the same conversation every single person of color has for one of their own holidays, where they're like, can y'all please not wear the stereotypical type of thing that you like to wear as a costume for us? Can you kinda not do that today? And everybody's just like, but it's fun. <laughs> and we're like, no, it's not. Um, so this, Oh, I think it's almost like it's like shaped like a moon at the top, I feel like. So it's like, it was in like that. Okay. And then. Oh, okay. Is this just a little piece to, to keep it safe? I think this is a cover on the top of this. And that my fingers, my little arms are just too small. But I believe this is just a little cover piece. And then it comes off. And then I can put it onto the, the actual screen. But as y'all already saw me fight with the stream deck, I'm not going to fight with it this time. But yeah, as you can see, this is how it looks. And then just imagine... Then just imagine it goes in like, and yeah, we have to fight. I'm excited to like actually set these things up like properly. Where I'm gonna put all this stuff though, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where all of this stuff is going to go, but like we're gonna, I'm gonna figure it out hopefully, but like, and I'm still excited. Okay, so I'm gonna sit this to the side for now because putting it back in the box was kind of hard. Um, so, before I show you guys the recap of all of the items, that I have now unboxed. I'm going to show you the actual last item, but I'm not opening it because it's too much work and I need to find an actual place to put it before I open it. So um, I'll let y'all see up. No, actually, I'm not even gonna do that because the second I take the tape off, it's just open. So <laughs> I'm not gonna do that to myself. So I'm gonna show you guys A green screen. <laughs> this is what I have. I 
have a green screen. And like, yeah, it's big and it's heavy. And the second I open it up, it's just open. Um, so I need to figure out like how I'm going to maybe like store it under my bed or something. So that like when I'm done using it, I can just slip it under, like under here. And then I don't see it. But until I know where I'm putting it, I have it standing and I can't let it, I can't stand it up outside of the box because like I said, it's just open afterwards. So I got the small one technically. This is the small green screen. Hold on, I'm gonna go stand it back up over to the side. <laughs> So I got technically the smaller green screen. So I didn't even get like the big one. I got the regular standard, like small green screen. So I now have a green screen. Um, and I got that one because I figured it would be easier for me to, you could see the shadow of it. It's just like so gigantic. You can like, I feel like I could probably figure out a way to put it underneath my bed so that then when I'm done, you if I'm using it, like when I'm done using it, I can put it I'm like in there and then I don't have to have it in my room like someplace else so that's going to be something I genuinely don't know yet how I'm gonna use the green screen um I feel like I might not use excuse me I might not use the green screen until I finally finish doing those overlay changes that I said that I was gonna do because when I do my overlay changes I'm going to change my overlay based off of OBS and I'm going to change to OBS. And so far at least, despite the fact I still don't know how to use OBS fully, I at least think I know how to use certain features a bit more now on OBS, like with the whole like transparency type stuff. So I might just start to figure that out. And then maybe I can start having um, a transparent background behind me instead of having my, my um, stuff. But who knows, I might still want to have my room and maybe I'll do like green screens for specific types of things. I don't know yet, but I figured it didn't help. It didn't like hurt to have one in case I wanted to. <laughs> so not make a strength check. <laughs> Next stream better be from space with advantage since you moved it once already. <laughs> Listen, you you are trying to mess me up considering I did say that my strength and my constitution would be my dump stats. So, but let me actually set this up so that I can show you guys a recap of everything that I have opened. Will it be a neat recap? Probably not, but it'll be a recap. <laughs> Because some things are still in the box, but it'll be quick openings because everything is like already untaped. So things that are already open that I can just show. Let me move some things so they're not in the way. And then I'll like fix stuff later because um, I already knew it was going to be a mess when I got here um, for today. So we finished off with the light. So I'm not going to show that again because we already... We already saw the light. Anybody who didn't see it, it is the key light. Is this bad boy? Got the key light air. Just finished showing y'all that before the um, green screen. To kind of go with it, one of the first things that we also opened was the key light mini. So I also have a mini key light as well that I can use and whatnot. I don't have a mount for it, but you know, I could end up using the multi-mount system for it which i will show you guys in a minute other light because i figure we might as well just go with lights right now keep the theme other light is i got the light strip they are quite literally a light strip as y'all more than likely saw and it's pretty long it is longer than my arms which in a way doesn't say too much because i am short and small so like or like a regular person maybe or like a bigger person than me, it might be the length of your actual arm span, but it is not the length of my arm span. It is longer than my arm span. <laughs> but like I said, that doesn't say much because I am short. So, but I got these, the key, the um, light strips. I'm very excited. 
I'm very excited about. <laughs> so I've always wanted some RGB stuff. Um, let's try to get this back in the box. The screen I got was very flexible and foldable back in the day. Um, probably not the best one, but was easy to maneuver around. My setup was suboptimal, didn't even have a desk at the time. Listen, were you re did you really start streaming if you didn't start with a suboptimal like streaming setup? Like, let's be real, let's be real here. I feel like, did, like for, this goes for everybody. Did y'all Did y'all really start streaming if y'all didn't start when y'all had like some cheap, headphones and a cheap mic <laughs> maybe not even a webcam <laughs> like we start bare bones every time man that's how you get the real good streamers start bare bones only got like fifty dollars maybe to get all the equipment <laughs> like i don't know if y'all remember like because y'all probably couldn't see but like when i originally started with all this stuff my desk was tiny <laughs> but i got the wave dx this beauty beautiful mic and to go with the wave dx i also have the wave xlr i'll take it back out real quick so y'all can see what it looks like if you don't start from the bottom you can't appreciate the top you know what that's kind of true. A little bit at least. Here is the Wave XLR. I might definitely have to end up getting a faceplate though for it because like, why not? I like to just have everything be customized that I have because I like art. So that's what I like to do. So we have those two. Oh, thank you, Jerry, and enjoy your lurk. Thanks so much for coming by. And actually, while as I show you guys all these things, I'm gonna also put them back onto the pit. That way I have some space. <laughs> I have some space to like move around and see what I haven't shown you. that I showed you it because these things I showed more so in the beginning I will show you the heavy base which literally says warning this base is built like a tank handle with care because it knows that it is heavy it is it is they were not lying when they said that the heavy base is heavy it is heavy but I will open it for you guys because I opened it earlier this is it. I'm not taking out the plastic. It's too much work. But I like it because one, it has that really like solid, sturdy material, like metal or whatever that Elgato's been using. But then it also has that nice like felt, like non-slip thing that like gives it give that they use on everything so that it doesn't like move around. Um, and I really do like that. I really, really like that. Of course I will see how it works in action when, it actually, when I actually am using it if it doesn't slip we will I will be the true verdict of that I will tell I'll tell you guys if it slips I'm not scared to tell y'all if I don't like something <laughs> and I feel like by now y'all can probably tell when I don't like something like even if I don't just even if I do try to be nice I feel like y'all can probably tell when I'm like I mean, it's cool. <laughs> it's all right. So this is the heavy base. And the heavy base goes with the um, multi-mount thing. This is the long multi-mount system, essential or whatever. This is the main the main attraction the main one and then from this bad boy i can hook it up to the heavy base or oh wait no this is the wrong one this is not the one oh this one i can then use the flex arm or flex arms i have all these bad boys that i can then attach 
to it or like change it up and I can change up the way that my mounting system is, which I'm very excited about. So I'm honestly very excited to use this stuff in particular for like streams where I might be doing some type of art or creative thing where I want to show you what I'm doing on my desk specifically, whether it's me packing orders or me doing actual art or any other type of craft. And then I can have this set up so that I can have my phone or a webcam or a camera set up looking down and still have my camera looking at me. So I'm very excited about this because I don't have anything right now really to do it. Like I have little ones, like I have little little things that I kind of can use, but they still haven't really helped out and they haven't been as, they haven't seemed as sturdy so far as like these. So really excited about this stuff. That is the mount system. Then the other thing I had brought over is I had the wave arm, which I'm also really excited about. I'm excited about everything, but I'm also very excited about the wave arm because I got the boom arm with the last giveaway. And like I said, I personally feel like either it was a defective one where it doesn't work or I just couldn't figure out how to make it work. But also all of that compounded on the fact that I do technically live in an attic with the ceilings that slant. It didn't really work out very well for the boom arm for me because it is the type of arm that goes up in folds. And since my ceilings technically are slanted and they, this side that you guys can't see is also slanted. So having the boom arm that goes upwards didn't really work because I didn't have enough clearance really for it to like, you know, be able to go up and be out of the way. And because I could never get my boom arm to stay in place, it would constantly want to go upwards and it wouldn't stay down. So instead, I got the wave arm because this arm goes out um, sideways instead of going upwards. So it's like this and it goes out like this so i can have this tucked away at the back of my desk and then when i'm ready to use my mic i can pull it out and it goes all directions really excited about it and of course you know i have the thing for the desk so now i just have to hope that it will have clearance i feel like it should have clearance to get past my stuff but you know i might have to do a reconfiguration of my desk anyway so when that happens i will you know work on that um but i have that arm the wave arm for my mic and stuff which i showed you guys next 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 up is i have the cam link and the cam link i got because i do Eventually, it looks like a big chunky flash drive. Um, I got this because eventually I would like to get a good camera. Especially for like my art stuff. And I figured if I get a good camera eventually, I can use this because this is supposed to be the thing that you hook up to your camera and then hook up to your PC. And I think you can like stream and like record your videos and send your videos or whatever. And it's supposed to be like 4K and all that good stuff or whatever. Um, I'm going to read up more on it later on, but I only didn't stress too much about it because I know I don't have that camera yet. But this one was very specifically for like if I do a future upgrade, if that makes sense, because I plan to eventually get a camera. So I figure that when I get my camera, I will figure out how to use this bad boy. So that is what this is. I'm gonna also put these on. Everything that I've showed, I will put over there. Then we have this bad boy, the 4K 60 Pro, which every some people in the chat believe that it is for the consoles. I'm pretty sure though, it is just for the fact of like making sure your PC runs all of your games and streaming properly. Like I said, I will update you guys though when I actually start to use it and see how it works because I initially got it because I assumed it was based off of the website and what it said on it that this is so that 
you can basically just process your games really, really good and get them at 60 FPS and still use tons of apps and stream and all of that stuff. And it's supposed to work well with your streaming software. But this is this bad boy. Trying not to touch it too much though. I'm keeping it in the plastic because this, this goes in my PC and I don't want to shock this. I don't want it to not work. So, um, that will go in my PC and very soon, just so I know it's just there and I can make sure it works and that I don't need to like send it back. Like I, cause I, I unfortunately sometimes have that type of luck when it comes to getting things. I, I sometimes have it where I don't get things that work. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, you put it in the PC. You put it in the PC. I think it's supposed to go like kind of near where your graphics card is, but yeah, it's supposed to go in your PC. Then just a couple more things left, not a whole bunch. Um, oh, I can actually move this. This isn't very important. This is, well, it's important, but it's not very fun to show off. It's just the cables for my mic. Oh, so, that's what this one. And then, next up is the webcam. I got the face cam. If I can get it out the box. All right. This beauty, it's kind of chonky, but it's quite pretty. This chonky boy is the face cam. Like, honestly, when I'm looking at it, this bad boy is so chonky, I don't even know actually if I can put this up there because I don't have that much clearance, unfortunately, above my webcam. I mean, not my webcam, above my monitor. This bad boy might be too big <laughs> to go above it. So this might become, for now at least, until I reconfigure things, because who knows? I'm maybe, I've debated moving my like computer setup over here on this side of my desk. I only haven't because I do like being able to just spread out at my desk on this side with my tech stuff. And this side instead is for my art. Um, but I've debated it because so much stuff with my setup now has gotten so tall that it being on the slanted part of the wall has been messing me up. But also I'm like, I don't know if I want y'all to have to see that side. but. I now have a green screen, so who knows? Maybe that's something I'll start doing if I decide to swap. If I decide to swap to this side for my PC, then green screen might start coming out so that I can like get rid of the background. <laughs> because not that the background's bad or anything, but you can just see too much of my room, if that makes sense, with the doorways. Um, but yeah, but that's something I'm think I'll think about. But either way, this will be used for something either art or for my face. One of the two. So this is my face cam. And that takes us to the last thing of the unboxing. If I can get these cracks in there, there we go. Takes us to the last part of it. And that is my baby, which I'm so very excited about the stream deck. I am so excited about this bad boy. I genuinely don't even know what I'm going to set up on it yet. I just am excited to know that I have a place for it. Like, honestly, I feel like my stream deck is going to be a mixture of like buttons for stream and buttons for art. Like, like if I'm being really real, like I feel like I'm gonna have some like clip studio like buttons on here as in like we're opening up certain types of things or something or doing certain types of art stuff i don't know i can just feel myself utilizing it also for art things um but we will see i'm gonna try to mainly use it for like streaming things but also i don't have the strength to take the face plate off but here is the face plate again that i got to draw for bggc that I will be putting on mine. I will be putting it onto my thing. And it kind of fits in a way because I kind of have like a teal blue thing going on 
for my um desk area you guys just can't see it because it's like my desk mat and stuff like that but um i have like a little teal teal thing going on i'm so upset that i really don't have the strength to open this how dare i be so weak like i'm mad that in a way this stream has a hundred percent proven that strength is probably one of my dump stats if i was to be a character like it's it's a hundred percent one of my dumb stats. I can't get this face plate. Like, <laughs> I keep kind of almost getting it. And it makes me so mad because like Deshaun sent a video of like how to open it. And I know how to open it, but they sent a video of how to open it. And the guy opened it so easy. I was insulted. <laughs> I I was insulted by that because I keep like almost having it or not almost having it but I keep having it where it like will come up but then like the one side doesn't want to oh oh I heard a snap I heard a snap I heard a snap <laughs> it's like one side's kind of there not the other one. Come on. It's like right there. I just want to snap it. Up, oh, up. Oh. Ah, got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yes. There it is. <laughs> it is now on. Perfect. Just, oh wait, it's not. There we go. Now it's fully snapped. Yeah. Very excited about that. Finally got it. <laughs> and then I will, maybe I will put this in the box so that I remember where it is. Cause I just, the worst thing though, is that like this and that um XLR thing, have face plates and that's the worst thing for me to know because I like customizing things and I like things look pretty so the fact that they both have like face plates means I'm gonna have face plates I'm gonna want to have multiple face plates I'm gonna want to have a couple so that like if I change my mind about my color scheme at my desk I can change it based off my mood I already know for a fact that I'm gonna end up getting a uh, face plate for the XLR thing Possibly. But first I have to finish setting up the rest of my desk before I do that. But yeah, but now this is in there. It is set up. Um, but yeah, that was the unboxing. I'm very excited about everything. I feel like the unboxing went really good too. So I'm really happy about that. And on top of it, thank you guys so much for coming by and hanging out with me and enjoying all of the goodies that I got because in a way the goodies that I got will like obviously you guys don't technically have it but I'm hoping that the goodies that I have will also help you guys in a way of like enjoying my content because like hopefully now my stuff will be a little bit better at least like tech wise because obviously like I also just have to be okay because I it's part partially me mostly me but then also tech <laughs> you know <laughs> so like hopefully on the tech end of things it'll make things nicer for um you all to enjoy the stuff that i make um let me just catch up with chat see if i missed anything when you plan on diving into set everything up honestly well one so part of the reason why which one by the way, I'm so sorry to everybody for yesterday because I was supposed to stream and I planned to stream and the day got away with me because my mom and my dad are actually going on a trip. So I've been trying to help them prepare and we went to the mall and uh, it just took really long. And by the time I got home, I was so tired and I had so much stuff to do later on that day that I was like, if I do my stream now, it's gonna run too late. But I also say that because I probably won't get into setting up until after they're gone. Um, so yeah, so we'll see. 
I might or I might start it while they're still here. Um, it really just depends on how my schedule is. I want to at least start within a week um, of setting everything up. Maybe even slightly today. Like, I'm going to do it on a rolling basis. I'm not going to probably set up everything at the same time because that's overwhelming for me. Um, but I think I'm going to do it as, like, I find time. And as I find, like, cute places. Like, I might honestly, like, just at least start putting out the stream deck, like I might start putting certain things in certain places so I can start to see, but yeah, I don't know technically when I'm going to start it, but I will let y'all know when because it's going to be some work, especially because I don't know, like I was saying, I don't know if I'm going to change like my whole setup yet or not, but some things are going to have to change because like, for example, the boom arm or not the boom arm, the wave mic arm. That, even though I feel like I have a place for it, I think my configuration on my desk is still gonna have to change slightly because of it, just to fit it. And yeah, so I'm gonna have to see. Like I could move my desk technically, not my desk, my PC over here and do the swap. The only reason I haven't is because if I move my PC over here, now my PC probably will have to go underneath my desk. And I guess I could just move my paint stuff outside to where the PC was instead. And then move like my printer to that side and stuff. But yeah, it's gonna take some time to figure it out. So we will see. I will let you guys know though when I start um, doing all of that stuff. Also, other thing I did wanna let y'all know because I know that I've been busy. I know you guys might think that I've forgotten about all of the special streams that I'm supposed to do. I say all of them as if it's like five, but there's like two, but still. I have not forgotten about the streams I owe you guys, um, which is the tier list stream and the stream where we will make a character, like a community character together, where I create, like, like I find like a character list of like questions or I make one based off of character sheets I've seen and then we answer them on polls and from those polls we then have the criteria of what our character will look like and I will draw the character on stream but you guys can also feel free to draw the character the version of that same character and like put it in the discord I still am planning to do that I just have to now start planning it things have just been really busy and hectic so I haven't had a chance to do it um, and I don't know when, but I do want to let y'all know that I have taken notice of how many streams I've unfortunately been canceling or like been doing, but I have been like changing what the game is last second because I've been so tired. I'm hoping that eventually I'll get to start to make up some of those streams for you guys because I feel like I've been missing a lot of streams. So I would like to have some days where maybe we get to stream together, like I get to stream maybe an extra day or so, or maybe where I stream in Discord or something and I just play a game or we just play together with certain things. We'll see, we'll figure it out. But I just wanted to throw that out there to let y'all know that I have noticed <laughs> how much I have been canceling streams and haven't gotten a chance to start doing certain things. Um, to, that I wanted to do like I want to still do the branding stuff like I'm going to change up the sub badges and all those good things I still plan to fix up the discord a bit because I would love to have it where um, people feel like they wouldn't mind being active in the discord and I know that part of it part of it is just because I'm so quiet because my social battery tends to run out a lot of times because Despite the fact I talk a lot, I am an introvert at heart still. So like usually I get off the stream and then I just don't talk to anybody besides like two people. <laughs> Did you ever decide on which topic you're doing the tier list on? No, that's why I'm saying I am going to start getting back to planning it because I did see all of the suggestions and I'm gonna look back at the suggestions that y'all gave me and then I will figure out which like two or three just in case it takes a long time like doesn't take long for me to do it i'm expecting for me to like i don't know how long tier lists are so i want to have at least one or two um topics 
so that if like I run through one of the tier lists like super quick, I have another one. Um, but knowing me, I talk so much, you might, we might only get through one tier list, but then I at least have a backup. So I'm gonna go through that again. And then from the suggestions I shall gave, I think I will pick the top three and I will put up a poll for you guys. Oh, I just clenched my arm. I will put up a poll for y'all on Discord um, and Twitter so that you guys can vote on which topics you like the most um, from, the, from the suggestions and stuff. So yeah. Also, you've been here the whole time. You've just been reading fanfics? No problem. You're good, Jakar. <laughs> You're good. So yeah, so those are some things that I am thinking about and trying to do. I just, I didn't realize how busy the summer is going to be with the summer. It's a it's busy summer. Um, as you may know, I am going to be in a virtual artist alley for Black Card Gala. And I put the info in my Discord. I've post, I've retweeted it over on like Twitter, but the best place right now to see it is on Discord. If you are in the Discord, um, I will be in the Black Card Gala around end of July. I believe it's the 29th and the, tw and the 30th. I thought it was the 28th, 29th and 30th, but I will like double check and make sure. But I will be in the Artist Alley portion. The Black Card Gala actually is a really cool like event in general virtual event in general and you can like go into panels for gaming and all of this type of stuff and but i'm in the artist alley so if you would like to check out the artist alley there um you can always feel free to um go and look up black Heart gala and sign up because it is free so but i also wanted to let y'all know that because i will be setting up i'm still setting up my booth for it um I, aka i'm setting up all my assets like my banner things and stuff so that will be happening at the end of the month uh is there anything else that i need to tell you guys about any announcements i didn't do anything yesterday oh one announcement which i think i mentioned before but i'm gonna say it again just because i am actively trying to work on it and i'm hoping that soon it will be up but I won't keep announcing it again until it is finally done. But that is, I am going to start a new YouTube channel. So the old YouTube channel will stay up. It's still gonna be my archive account. It will still have all of my old streams up there forever. That is that is what that archive account will be. But I'm going to make a new YouTube channel that will have Let's Plays on it because I like Let's Plays. I like to watch them, so I'm still going to make them. So the first game I will be uploading will be Steel Rising. I'm going through all of my streams and I'm editing down the content so that if you did want to see Steel Rising and you haven't been catching it and you want to catch it from the beginning, but you don't want to have to sit through BRB screens and me talking for 15 minutes at a time, being paused in the game and all that stuff, you don't want to see that. You can always feel free to wait for the let's play and that will be a hopefully more digestible chunk because i will be cutting out all of that excess time that i took during my streams so that's how i'm gonna set it up i'm gonna try to also still have indies like i know for a fact i want to try to have it be where my let's plays are a lot of the longer games i play um but like if there's a game, like a short, like an indie game that I really like, even if it's short and I feel like it'll, like I want to put it out there, I will also make let's plays of those too. Um, it really just depends on, I guess, how I feel about the game and if I feel like the, it was fun to watch or whatever it is, if that makes sense. Because some games I feel like are really fun to play, but then sometimes they're not as fun to watch people play, if that makes sense. So that's something that I will be taking into. But I will mainly say that so that you know, I will still be trying to put indies up there. I'm gonna focus right now on Steel Rising, but honestly, the other game I do wanna put up there um, soon is Hollow Knight. I would like to start to like chop up my Hollow Knight streams, but I'm gonna focus on Steel Rising because I started it so much longer ago. So I have a lot more streams that I can go through and start it up. And then I could always start up Hollow Knight a little later. So that's what's gonna happen. When I do have the YouTube channel set up, I will of course let you know. I probably won't have it like start posting about it until I already have a few videos already set to be posted. That way I'm not rushing to edit. Um, no, I haven't beat it yet. 
I actually have not played Hollow Knight in like a month. That's another reason why I was like apologizing for not streaming yesterday because I was supposed to go back to Hollow Knight. But so much has happened in the month of June. June has been such a busy month for me. It's been such a, a like hectic month, I should say, not just busy. So I haven't gone back to Hollow Knight. I think I'm still technically in the beginning. Like maybe not beginning, beginning, because technically I have a few like abilities now. I think the last time I played, I got the wall jump or whatever it's called. And I got into, is it called City of Tears or something? I got into like that city area the last time I played, which I need to try to remember because also the last time I played, I died. So I have to remember to go get my stuff when I play again. I've been trying to keep that in the front of my mind so I don't just start playing and I just think I'm fine because I didn't I didn't end at a bench. I end I ended dead. So I'm at a bench, but I died. So I have to get it back. <laughs> I did remember watching you play once and you mentioned something about remembering you need to go to a certain spot. I always need to go to a certain spot. I'm always trying to remember to go back to a certain spot. That's how that's how my brain works. I always I always stop someplace where I'm like, oh I gotta go someplace. So that's what's gonna happen. But yeah, so next one's gonna be next video I try to upload is gonna be Hollow Knight. I wouldn't mind trying to upload some other games, but and actually this is something that you guys might be able to answer to me because I have a lot of streams, as you know. And there's some games that I've already streamed that I feel I really enjoyed the game. But I sometimes, I have been debating if it's still good to like edit that into a YouTube Let's Play if I've already played it like six months ago, you know? <laughs> like it's not like it's a game that I'm actively playing or I just finished playing it or something like that. It's like, it's from streams that I played six months ago and I just really enjoyed it. And I was like, ooh, this could make a really cool video. Do you guys think that's still like something to think about with like if that's something that I should still post? Because for example, I honestly wouldn't mind posting The Pathless or even Sable. I loved Sable. Sable was such a good game. And some of these indie games I played, I feel like I really would love to like post some Let's Plays of them. You know? Content is content. If it's good, post it. Doesn't have to be something you're currently playing. Expose the people to, to the content and your experience. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind then. Because, and I guess too, what will also happen is, I guess it will also just depend on how I recover the video. Like if the video still is recovered well, because for example, the reason I have the archive account is so I can delete my videos because I didn't have space. I recently got a hard drive though. So I'm gonna start trying to save some of my videos in my hard drive. I got a five terabyte hard drive, external hard drive to start saving my art and my like video stuff. Um, so I might start doing that. So, but for like, bleh, bleh, I did not say something. So like for Sable and the Pathless, I'd have to re-download the video from YouTube. So I guess if the video gets downloaded fine, then I will definitely edit it down. But if like, let's say I download the video and I don't think it looks very good, then I will think about it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still streaming quality. So it's not like it's like 4K resolution because I'm still streaming it, but I still do think sometimes my, my recorded video looks a lot better than when it is streamed, which thankfully I'm not like downloading it from Twitch or else it would be disgusting. <laughs> if I downloaded my video from Twitch, it'd just be, it would be gross. I just wouldn't even, I wouldn't even think about it. The, like my video is just, my quality gets shot the second it goes through Twitch. It's just, it's just disgusting. So, um, yeah. Well, thank you though for your the advice because I will keep that in mind because I really would like to also post indie games on the channel. But yeah, when I post it, it'll be the same name as always. Also, hi sleeper, how are you doing? We're actually at the ending of stream where I'm probably about to start figuring out if there's somebody to raid. Um, oh, what's the song? Yeah, so I'm gonna probably start figuring out who to raid. But when I do make the YouTube, it's gonna be the same name as my all of my gaming stuff is gonna still be monotone enthusiasm 
like unless when I do all of these like overlays, I suddenly think of some new name for myself and I just rebrand completely. Unless that happens, I'm not expecting for my YouTube to be a different name. <laughs> so I expect to still be monotone enthusiasm. Sometimes I've thought about changing it because it's so long, but I honestly don't know what else I'd change it to. Because, yeah, I don't know what else I'd change it to. So, um, we rolling with it. We cool with it. It's fine that I'm just monotone enthusiasm and still have space themes. That's fine. But anyways, because I'm about to just start rambling. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I super appreciate it. I'm really excited for all the stuff. And just big thanks again to like BGGC and Elgato and everything because I got some new things and hopefully we will see the difference in the quality because I think even just from the giveaway that we had, I feel like the difference in my streams have been substantial in my opinion. Of course, I've been the same, but like I said, I feel like the tech stuff has made a difference. Like, I think my sound has been a lot better. My I think my games have been running a lot better. And I've been running them at, like, higher graphics and still been streaming. So I feel like it's it's been good. So I'm excited to see how things now change with these new um, items. But that is going to be all for today. I appreciate, appreciate you guys putting some time aside for me, as always. Um... I am going to find somebody to raid. Let me see if Alyssa is here. Is on, I should say. I didn't mean to. And before I forget, feel free to check out my links if you would like. Um, you can find everything about me in my card if you are ever looking for me you can find in the beginning of my card it's everything that is for both art and gaming but if you scroll because on mobile sometimes it doesn't look like you're supposed to scroll but on mobile if you just scroll down it's separated based off of art links and gaming links and gaming links is at the bottom so if you want to find me specifically for gaming just scroll all the way down you will find my gaming tiktok instagram tumblr all that stuff and same thing for art all that stuff is there my Twitter is for both, so if you follow my Twitter, I post about both things in there. And yeah, any other type of link that I end up getting, they will be added to my card. So that's the best way to find me. Um, let me see. How long has Calista been on? Come on, Twitch. I hate how now, like, when I try to look at things on Twitch, I have to, like, constantly refresh everything all the time. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we're gonna go raid Callista. They are playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night. And they kind of just started streaming, so you guys will be able to chill and watch them play. They're an awesome streamer, so I definitely recommend they also cosplay, so you know that's something else that you can check out of them um i am going to set this up i keep forgetting like my setup's been so different today because i had to oh just so you guys can kind of see what i've been working with i have just so i could do this right today i had to put a table next to my desk with all of these books just so that i could have the boxes kind of show up on camera without showcasing like all of my work. That's what that's what I've been opening things on. Just to kind of show y'all, which also by the way, I have like this really awesome book that I really love. I got it for my birthday or I should say I got it as a present for my birthday and it's awesome. I don't get to look at it much because of the spot it's in, but it's like all of like the artwork and stuff over the years from like Marvel, like all of like the old school Marvel comics. It's great, 10 out of 10. Anyways, I am going to set up this raid <laughs> before I get sidetracked for the gazillionth time today. Because that is what happens to me all the time. Start the raid. 
Feel free to copy down the raid message. And I'm going to try my best to copy it as well. Let me copy it too. Before I forget. Yeah, so feel free to go over and hang out with Callista. Like I said, they're an awesome, awesome streamer and just a really cool person in general as well. Um, they are a cosplayer and they play lots of cool games. So definitely feel free to go over there and say hi. Like I said before, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and just spending time with me today, like when it's supposed to be supposedly the day of our independence or whatever. Um, <laughs> so thank you for chilling with me and I hope that you have a lovely rest of your day. Tomorrow I should be streaming some art, so feel free to be on the lookout for that. And then Friday I will be back to playing Sail Rising and on Sunday, feel free to check out Shinobi, who's always in here at Beijing Shinobi. I will post their um, streamer link um, tomorrow and Friday because I'm not streaming, but they are, and we're gonna be playing ESO. So feel free to go and check them out. We'll be playing with Macdoll games, but I'm about to raid, so I'm gonna say bye. I hope you have a good day, and yeah, bye you guys.